Hey guys, it's Kikiku here, and today um, I am finally reviewing Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. It has been a while, guys, because there's just so much to do in this game, okay? And um, credit for the footage goes to Munching Orange. Um, I I got footage from him in the last of uh, False Impressions video. Okay, just wanted you to know. Okay, so yeah, this has been a long time coming. This review has been a long time coming, but that should actually be a good thing for you guys. Is that there is so much to do in this game. Um, one of the main problems I had with Pokemon Sun and Moon, I was about to say Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, was that it didn't have much to do after you already beat the game. But this completely fixes it. There's episode RR, episode Nightmare Rocket, if you didn't know what that meant. And there's also, oh, sorry, there's also Mantine Solving to try to get your high school, try to encounter all the Pokemon. And then there was going in ultra space and capturing all the legendaries. And let me say, it is a blast to play. Um, I can't say that this is the best Pokemon game ever. Because it is. But there were some issues I ran into. Uh, folks, what? First of all, um, there was no way to skip the dialogue. And I needed to skip the dialogue. Mainly because... I don't know how to explain this other than I've already played the game. I know what happens. I don't need dialogue. I would want to skip it. And if there was a button that I could press to skip dialogue and just go and play, that would be great. Um, it was hard, though. Um, it was very hard to play. And w w when I say that, I mean, first of all, I've already beaten the game, so I'm like, Ugh, I just want to skip to the part where, where I don't know what's going to happen. And yeah, it was tough doing that, but it was worth it. It was very nostalgic. I don't know if that's the right thing to say because it's only been out for a year. Therefore, it can't be that nostalgic as much as Super Mario 64 and stuff like that. Anyways, let's move on to the actual review. If you don't know how our reviews work, how they work is that we just get a, a bunch of categories and then we rate them by then. I don't even know if I said that correctly. Okay, first off we have the graphics. As you can probably see from the footage, it doesn't look that great. But on the 3DS, the colors just pop at you, and everything just looks good. And this isn't actually a bad thing. Um, I know that most children my age might say, Oh, they aren't realistic. Zero out of five. But I can actually appreciate the cartoony art style. And it makes me wonder, what if, what if the next art style what on the nintendo switch was a low poly but hd water stuff like that old style how would that work i think that it'd be great it makes me really excited for the next pokemon game w graphics wise everything in this game makes me excited i really like the cell shading for some reason it was like my favorite part and when people can vote uh, this in the hd somehow which i don't think i can do <laughs> It just looks phenomenal, and I think that I should really put this game over to the Switch, and my only concern is that some of the UI wasn't changed, and the UI that is changed is just phenomenal, and I'm not joking, I'm not going to say the same thing over and over again, but it is just great, and I'm talking about the new AI, I, I don't like the new talking feature i like the original one but i mean it works it's it's nice but the futuristic textile in the battles i would love to see updated everywhere because um the ultra recon squad is all about that and it's just great how they adapted it that way um so yeah the graphics i would give um i'd give it a five out of five for now but because this is an RPG, we have to move on to the genre exclusive category, battling. Now, in RPGs, the battling is com complicated. I'm talk I'm talking you have to memorize a bajillion things just to have one battle. And yeah, it's pretty tough. But I say that I have a good time with them most of the time. But man, something about Pokemon. I love the battle system. It is super simplified to the point where I wouldn't even call it an RPG. Um, it's like its own genre, kind of. It's turn-based 
battle system, but it works. Um, my only complaints is that this can be fixed easily. Um, I'm gonna use an example: Plants vs Zombies Heroes. If you haven't played that game, then you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you have, then you're probably gonna know what I'm talking about. It's kind of a turn-based RPG a little bit, but whenever one of your characters die, they can hit again. And not being able to do that in Pokemon messes me up because, like I probably said before, this game is hard. Um, and I can really appreciate that. It's harder than the last game. I, I will say that to the point where I spent a whole weekend working on the fire trial. I, I'm I'm not joking. And to this day, I think it was hard. And yeah, I, that's all I can say <laughs> to the difficulty. Um, I'd have to give the battling a 4 out of 5. There's some things that can be changed, but the addition of Z-moves and, well, Z-moves makes it really good, but Mega Evolutions me messes everything up. So yeah, I'll give it um, a 4 out of 5, because, I mean, why not? The next category is Soundtrack. And if you hold me um, in between pausing, which I had to use the bathroom, and if you hold me, you know that I was... I think I was humming the theme for Ultra Necrozma. I, w I don't think I did it correctly, but I did it the best I can. And I just love that theme. I like the theme for the Legendaries and Pokemon Sun and Moon, I but I only like the beginning. The part where it actually sounds like space if there was mass in space. And yeah, it's pretty cool. It's epic. Okay? This one is so much better. I, that's really all I can say about the soundtrack, so, except, there's some issues, it's great and all, but sometimes it doesn't fit, therefore I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 5, so yeah. Okay, the final category that I will cover today is the new content. It is a game exclusive, mostly because it's an alternate story, and the reason I'm doing this is because when we forced... A hold of this game, we were afraid that it was just going to be the same thing, but later and closer to the game's launch, everyone was proved wrong. And I mean everyone. There was so much to do in this game, and basically all problems are fixed with this. And like I said, I would have liked there to be a way to skip the dialogue, and I would w have wanted, wanted it to be optional. And yeah, episode RR is... A joy. Um, I like uh, the music. Uh, the reason I say that is that I, I don't like the beat. I just I like how it's a callback to the original. I, I I can just appreciate that. And if you know the history, you can appreciate this game a lot more than if you don't know the history. And there's just a lot to be said about this game. And the reason I'm covering it, um, the amount of content is so the people who didn't pick it up. We're thinking, okay, okay, I need to know if there's enough content in this game, and there is, okay? And now that we have all the categories out of the way, I want to talk about a couple more of things. I, I don't know what I said. <laughs> but, if you guys did not know, um, there is some issues with this game. Yeah, again, the skipping dialogue would have been nice. The Roto Lodo is m messed up. And... <sighs> There's some issues. Again, with the UI, I wish that they updated everything. I know that it's hard, but you had a year to do so. And I know that most of it was probably spent working out all the controls and the new stuff, but it would just would have been nice to see everything been updated. But, again, with making everything right, the, in the Ultra Wormhole, um, the controls are wonky. Yeah, I'm sure you've heard of it. Um, the motion controls are not the best thing. You can change them, and I'm not going to show you how, unless you guys really want me to. But, if you guys do want me to, then I will. But you probably won't. But you guys could probably find it on YouTube anyways. But, the controls are weird, okay? I wish that it, it would give you a choice before you even entered and started controlling it. Because, the first time you play, you can't switch. You, you, you have to beat the game already, and yeah, it's just a mess. Uh, Ultram... Melodopolis. <laughs> I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. And um, I'm not going to spoil any part of the story um, for Ultra Space. But 
it's nice. Okay, I'm sure you probably hold some of it by now, but I'm not going to spoil any of it just in case. Even though they are spoilers in this game. Um, I did like a win. This is a spoiler. <laughs> um, you, you could skip ahead to whenever, um, th th whenever I change this to the Ether Foundation. Um, I like the poll. Oh, and you better get out of here, because all the people who don't want to know, they better get out of here in five seconds, because... We're going from island one island two, you're on a mantine surfing. <gasps> yeah, mantine surfing is fun. When it said, uh, surf between the waters of Alola, I didn't think it was serious. Um, it's not 100% what I'd like it to be. It's get from point A to point B, but it's still pretty fun. And when I, pl when I was playing, I'm like, oh, this is mantine surfing. This is great. Oh, I have mantine surfing. This is great. <laughs> because it, it is. And... Yeah, it's great, and I think that this game should get more credit on that than it currently gets. So yeah, now we are on to the final score. Taking everything into consideration, with the great graphics, the great battle system, the good soundtrack, and much, much more, there, and with only a few complaints, we have the final score. Now I just have to go through the algorithm. So, here it is. Okay, the algorithm, we have the algorithm, and the final score is 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 isn't a bad score, but it's not a good score. I'm going to give Sun and Moon a, a 9 out of 10, but this game barely gets one. If, it was more to, if, it, if I was more distinct, I'd probably give it an 8.7 maybe, and, you know, and I know that it's not 8.9, but it's good. And I just want to say something about the magazine for Nintendo I got where they reviewed it. It was weird. They didn't review him um, as one game completely. They reviewed Pokemon Ultra Sun and then Pokemon Ultra Moon. And we, they had different people review each one, so they, they had different scores. And I felt that that was not the best thing to do. And most people would just review him as one game because, I mean, that's what people would do. So, yeah, I hope you guys liked today's episode of this I don't know why I'm saying episode. I hope you guys liked today's video. Do the smash like button. And if you're new, why not subscribe for some more content. Every other day of the content. And I'll see you guys next one. Bye.